Hey y'all, so welcome back to another, what is that? Oh, it's sitting on the screen. I was like, is there something in my hair? Welcome back to another meal prep video. My name is Lauren. If you're new here, let me just fill you out on a few things. I count calories. I do my best to pay attention to ingredients, um, but I'm still learning. So give me a little grace, if you will. Um, I have lost over 60 pounds. I think I'm at like 64, 64 pounds gone which is amazing so that's exciting i have really bad allergies so my voice is a little bit nasally apologies for that but i'm doing the best i can um i'm currently at trader joe's i'm gonna run in for just a couple things like a very small list and then i'm gonna do the bulk of my shopping at my local grocery store which is heb um it's sort of comparable to walmart as far as like what they sell um it's a little bit nicer they do have some better products like better variety at HEB but for the most part a lot of like the mainstream brands they sell the same as Walmart so there's a little comparison if you've never heard of HEB before um but I'm gonna run in for like the green goddess dressing I hope they have it they didn't have it the last time I was here um some tahiti some almond milk that hopefully is just almonds and water somebody told me I could find that here at Trader Joe's um some coconut amigos just a couple like specialty items that I haven't been able to find at HEB. So that's the plan. Let's go ahead and run in. We will go here. Then we're going to go to HEB. I'll do a grocery haul and then we will get to meal prepping. So thank you for joining me. Give this video a thumbs up if you like meal prep videos and subscribe to my channel if you want to stick around. What happened to us? What happened to all the love we always took for granted? Are we stranded? Is it too late? Is it too late to cut? That have faded, complicated. I'm waiting for an answer, waiting for a sparkle to come to ignite love. Okay, so this is the grocery haul from HEB um, on groceries. I spent about $90. So just jump right in. Got some bananas. I have ones that are frozen for smoothies already this is going to be for breakfast i'm going to have a slice of toast with some almond butter and some banana kind of been craving that so i'm going to have that i got some of the organic mini cucumbers they were on sale and i thought they would be good with the hummus that i got at trader joe's i will do that haul here in a second um i got some baby bella mushrooms these fingerling potatoes are some of my favorites they're all different colors they're so good they roast in the oven like a dream two sweet potatoes. Do y'all know, are purple sweet potatoes, do they taste the same as regular sweet potatoes? Are they still better than white potatoes? Let me know because they had purple ones that were cheaper. Um, actually, no, 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 they weren't cheaper, but well, maybe they were. They had organic purple potatoes, but they didn't have organic sweet potatoes. So these are just regular old sweet potatoes because they only had the purple ones and I wasn't sure if they were the same. So I just bought regular sweet potatoes, some lemon for a dressing I'm going to make. Um, for zucchini and then the I got three of these avocados the three pack was actually on sale so it was cheaper than buying two I was just going to get two but it was actually cheaper to get it this way because they were two dollars a piece and this was 350 so I got three for about 75 cents a piece yay um is that no that's not good math one two three fifty they were a dollar and like 15 cents i'm so you guys i can't do head math anyways those were cheaper um i got two packs of chicken strips that are organic they only sell them in like the tinier packages so two of the chicken strips and then or like the tenders and then one chicken breast package um i went ahead and picked up just some organic um colby jack cheese sticks thought those just sounded good some chunk light tuna i used to always buy the albacore but i heard I know y'all are tired of me saying it, but on Flav City, Bobby Parrish was talking. He's on YouTube, Flav City. He was talking about how the chunk light is actually way better for you because albacore tuna has a higher, like, mercury level. So, I don't know, but I went ahead and picked this up. I think I'm going to have a big salad for lunch today. Um, and just to have on hand, I thought this would be a good snack slash salad addition. I picked up a few seasonings. So, I got the sesame seeds. That's for my lunch prep ground ginger. Also, I'm kind of making up a sauce and we're just going to hope that it turns out good, but I didn't want to buy the fresh ginger um, because I was already in the seasoning aisle when I thought about it. So I bought this kind, um, just some cornstarch. I couldn't find like an organic or like a good version. So I just bought that. 
to thicken up some sauces. I picked up the Chosen Foods Mayo just because it was a lot cheaper than the Primal Kitchen one. The ingredients are pretty good. So I did pick up that. This is going to be for a couple things um, throughout the week. And then I got with the tuna too. That's going to be so good. Anyways, I got some fresh mozzarella, some garbanzo beans or like chickpeas. These are going to be for my salad today and probably for my like taco bowls. thought that would just be good. I can put them in a container in the fridge and use it a little bit all week. Four of the Siggies. So I got mixed berry, strawberry rhubarb, blueberry, and vanilla. I'm going to show you guys the granola that I ordered, which is why I'm stocking up on yogurt. My typical sparkling water. I also got a grapefruit one, but I left it in the car because I'm going to take it to Morgan's house. And then I just restocked my one at work, which is lime. So I'm obsessed with carbonated water. I got a regular Greek yogurt. I couldn't remember what this was for. I think it was for a dressing recipe that now I don't know that I'm going to make. But regardless, it'll be fine. I'll figure out something to use it for. And then I got these lids. They were only $2. It comes with six of them. Um, easier than having to deal with the um, regular mason jar lids that have like the little ring and then the extra piece. So I thought this would be easier. And they were cheap. And then this was on sale for $5. Hey there, hot stuff. I um, need bigger like containers to put leftovers I often have to like split it up in multiple containers which is fine but overall equals more um dishes so I thought I'd pick up that while it was on sale um and now let's jump into Trader Joe's okay so for the Trader Joe's haul I got this thing of Italian parsley we're gonna see if I can keep this baby alive here in my like kitchen window um I have the Trader Joe's simply almond beverage so the only ingredients in this are water and almonds. So that's what you want, or that's what I want. I guess you can do whatever you'd like. That's what I've been looking for, and I was really happy to find it. Um, it is not in the pantry. It's in the cold section. So, like, in the aisles, there's a huge um, section of non-dairy milks, and I thought they didn't have it, but then when I was in the cold section looking at yogurt, um, which I didn't end up buying, I saw this, and was like, oh, that has to be it simply. So, sure enough, this is the one. So excited to have that. It's not flavored or anything. I went ahead and picked up some organic um, chicken stock just because at my HEB, I didn't really like the kinds that they had, and it's just a good thing to have on hand, so got, grabbed that. It was inexpensive. The coconut aminos. Seriously, if you have a Trader Joe's, get these at Trader Joe's, not a grocery store, because it's literally $2.99 at HEB, or at my HEB anyways. It was um, like $6 for their brand, so this is just way better. I finally found the green goddess salad dressing. I am really excited. You can see right there what the um, ingredients are. But I'm excited to try this. I think I'm going to have it with a salad this afternoon. And I'm hoping to eat it on my like taco bowls if I like it. With some ground beef and those sweet potatoes. Um, some greens, just some other toppings. Then I got smoked paprika because I saw it. And I have seen a few recipes that had it and I decided to pick some up. Um, the organic tahini, the only ingredient in this is tahini, roasted garlic hummus. I finished this last week. Amazing. Seriously obsessed. It's not, you know, like super, super clean, but it has pretty good ingredients and I love it. I'm going to continue to buy it. I got the Ezekiel bread, which I found at my HEB. I thought the HEB didn't sell it, but it's actually in the cold section, like the freezer food. Um, so I got the sprouted the sprouted one, but that's going to be for my breakfast this week. I also might have like a turkey sandwich for dinner. Um, I got some turkey at Costco that I'm obsessed with. So yeah, I've just been like really craving really simple like sandwiches and salads lately. So I did pick up that. Um, I went ahead and picked up an organic coffee. I don't know that I'm going to love this because I haven't had great success with Trader Joe's K cups, honestly. Um, I've had, a friend of mine told me that they like explode in her Keurig, so I'm a little bit worried, but it hasn't happened at our work Keurig with the Trader Joe's ones we've had, but even their like holiday blends just aren't my favorite. I do like their pumpkin spice though. Um, their pumpkin spice coffee I thought was good, but I went ahead and picked this up and we'll just see how it goes. Um, if you watch future videos, I will probably talk about if I like it or not. Then I did pick up organic tomatoes at Trader Joe's. I just loved them so much. Um, not last week, but the week before when I had them with that hummus toast situation. I just thought they were so good. Some of the best Texas tomatoes that I have. I will say Texas doesn't have the best like tomato selection, but I did get those because I like them. And then I picked up some hydrangeas, like $5.99. Yeah. Super, super pretty. And I just love to have fresh flowers at this time of year. 
Also, if you like to keep hydrangeas really fresh, which I don't know why you wouldn't, you can cut the stems, stick the stems in some boiling water for about 10 seconds, and then dip it in this alum powder. You can just find this at the seasoning aisle of your grocery store. Um, and then put them in water, and it really helps keep them alive for way longer. So that is my little tip. I learned that from somebody on Instagram. Okay, last part of the grocery haul, I wanted to show you what I ordered from Safe and Fair Food Company. Um, each of these was about $5.99, which I feel like is pretty good price. It has pretty good ingredients. I got this idea um, or this product from Shocker Becca Bristow. She talked about, I believe it's the apple one. I'm not a huge apple fan, so I skipped that flavor. But as you can see, I've opened this birthday cake one and taken a bite of this granola. And you guys, it tastes like birthday cake. It is so weird. It's like the best thing I've ever had. It's so good. Uh, it's nut free, uh, vegan apparently. And I love it. I actually am not a huge fan of nuts in general. So I love that it's nut free. Um, let's see if I can open it. Okay. Just to give you a look of what it looks like, this is the granola. So it's just like a kind of broken up, super crunchy, super freaking delicious. Here's the back if you so you can have a third of a cup for 130 calories obsessed I haven't tried the others but I also got blueberry cinnamon and chocolate and then I wanted free shipping you had to spend $20 to get free shipping so I did get two bags of these hickory barbecue chips these are like pop chips but better in my opinion I like them way way better um and you can have, look at this, you can have 23 for only 120 calories, which I feel like is awesome. They are delicious. These have a little bit of a spice to them. Overall, really happy that I got those. I will repurchase these for sure. I'm glad that I had to out on an item because I wouldn't have known. Um, and they have other flavors as well. But anyways, that is the granola. I'm going to have that with yogurts this week. Super excited. Okay y'all, so we're gonna get started with meal prep. I am making like a chicken stir fry, sort of a copycat, um, well an attempt at a copycat of a restaurant called Chop Chop that I used to eat at in Lubbock. I think it's probably a chain, but it was really good and they cut their zucchini, their zucchini a specific way um, and it just came with zucchini and mushroom and onion and rice and it was so good. Um, they have lots of different sauces. So we're gonna attempt to make a sauce out of these ingredients here. Um, we're just kind of winging it. Really get creative, add whatever type of vegetables um, that you like in your stir fry. I'm gonna be doing lots of zucchini, some mushrooms, onion, peppers, um, garlic. I've got chicken right here that I'm gonna dice up. Um, and then for the sauce, obviously salt and pepper for seasoning, but for the sauce, I'm going to use some um, chicken stock, some coconut aminos, you can use soy sauce, um, a little bit of honey for sweetness, cornstarch to thicken it up, garlic, some sesame, sesame seeds to finish it off, and then a little bit of ground ginger. You can use like fresh or paste or whatever, this is just what I bought. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead, wash my zucchini, get everything um, prepped, and we will start cooking. Hey y'all, so I just wanted to fill you in. The sauce that you see me currently making is not the sauce I ended up using. Um, the coconut aminos from Trader Joe's are actually way sweeter than the kind that I was buying at HEB. So when I was tasting it after I added in honey and all of these other ingredients, it was just way too sweet. There wasn't enough like salty garlicky this for me so I ended up chucking the whole thing and you'll see in a little bit that I basically add seasonings um, I get out some low sodium low sodium soy sauce um, I use the coconut aminos with that and along with like garlic and it kind of came together that way no honey no chicken broth or anything like that just garlic seasoning but you'll see that here in a minute I just wanted to mention that because you will never see that sauce get poured into the dish
Okay, so a little bit of a change of plans on this sauce. The sauce I made, it just, it just wasn't coming together with me or for me. I saw a few recipes that used chicken stock um, and like coconut aminos and I just couldn't get the flavor I was looking for. So I did pull out just some soy sauce. It's not like organic or anything special. It's like Walmart. But I added that, I, I did add some coconut aminos. Um, those are just sweeter than I remember. Didn't really need the honey at all. Used some garlic, sesame seed, ground ginger, and a little bit of ground mustard. I don't know why I pulled this out, but like something about it I just like. Um, and I did use the cornstarch to hopefully thicken this sauce up. Um, I gave it a taste and I, I like the way that it tastes. Um, salty from the soy sauce, but sweet from the coconut aminos overall enjoying it so i'm just gonna let this thicken up for a few more minutes and i'm gonna go ahead and cook up the rice so i'm using trader joe's organic brown rice i'm gonna cook up these two packages this is two servings each i think yeah so about two servings per package i'm gonna cook up these in the microwave and then we will be pretty much done with meal prep Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna take breakfast and snacks sort of buffet style, but I have my finished meal prep so good. I actually have enough left over for dinner tonight, so I have a little bit more rice I can heat up, um, and I'm gonna eat the leftovers. So really, this chicken mixture makes five servings. Um, for snack, I'm gonna have these mini cucumbers with the roasted garlic hummus from Trader Joe's. For breakfast, I'm gonna have almond butter with banana on an Ezekiel um, a slice of this Ezekiel bread. And then for snacks, I'm going to have, uh, or a snack or dessert at night. I'm not sure. Siggy's with the safe and fair granola. So either, you know, blueberry, I'm not sure which one I'll do for which, but, um, it'll be sort of a variety. And I don't know if that'll be snack or, um, like a dessert. So we'll see, but everything else I'm bringing sort of buffet style. And we've got our finished meal prep right there. Hey y'all, so it's Monday now. I just forgot to close out the meal prep video, so I wanted to do that now. Um, this is a really easy recipe to make your own, so use whatever vegetables you have on hand or whatever vegetables you like. Um, I just cook things that I like, and I cook in a way that watches my portions, and that has helped me lose weight um, now 64 pounds. So remember that I am in no way a registered dietitian or a nutritionist. I just show you what works for me and what I do on my own journey to be um, you know, happy, healthy, and just live a balanced lifestyle. I I do eat 14 to 1450 calories per day. Again, that is based on calculations that I have done, research I've done for my own body, my activity level, height, weight, all of that thing, all of those things are taken into account. So make sure to do the same for yourself. Don't eat 1400 just because I eat 1400. You really, really need to do that own research because you don't want to mess up your metabolism or throw off your body in any way. So just make sure you're doing what's best for you. I appreciate you watching this video. Make sure to comment down below if you'd like to. Give this video a thumbs up if you like meal prep videos and subscribe so you can watch more of my videos. I appreciate y'all and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. What happened to us? What happened to all the love we always took for granted? Are we stranded?